semiconductor design is not new to Malaysia. There have been several companies over the last one decade. And if we learn from the experience of other countries that have been able to do this quite well, first and foremost, it requires ingenuity and creativity. The IC design part that we have today is the first step for us to get everyone in Malaysia to reimagine where we want to be. And we know that the demand for such electronic and software engineers will continue to go up, which means that from policy perspective, we are re-looking really at how to deploy our educational resources to make sure that we prepare to meet the requirements of this growing IC design industry in this country. The good thing about IC design is that it's not capital intensive. The bad thing is that you'll be paying a lot of young people extremely high salaries compared to other industries. Okay, show me what you're doing. When you say you design a chip, what exactly you're doing here? Normally when we design a chip, we will have overall architecture intent. Mm. From there, we have to translate into a circuit. So once we have the circuit intent, where we, have, we understand <laughs> what's the power needed. So basically, once we are done, then we have to put it into the physical layer. It's going to be something like this. In order for you to understand, to visualize uh, how small it is, uh, you can imagine that this one, uh, this one is actually one strand of our hair. Our strand of our hair is actually around 20 micrometers. Inside this one strand of hair consists of how many transistors I can show you. Okay, these are all transistors inside. Right? Yeah. This <laughs> is only one transistor. I, I don't know, I did this thing about 25, 27 years ago. We oh. never get to this stage.